hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we will learn how to create a random password generator using javascript we will design this page using html and css then we will add the javascript to generate the random password when we will click on this generate password button it will display a random password every time you will click here it will display a new password these are the strong password that includes the uppercase, lowercase, numbers and a special symbol. We can click on this copy button to copy this password and paste it anywhere. So let's start to create this random password generator using JavaScript. But before starting this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials. Now let's start the video. Here I have this folder and in this folder. I have one HTML file, one CSS file and another folder called images. In this folder I have two icons. You can find these icons download link in the video description. Now I will open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file where I have added the margin, padding, font family and box sizing. These CSS properties are applicable for all the HTML elements. In this HTML file, I have added this title, random password generator and easy tutorials. Then we have the link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file because here I have added href style.css. Now we will add the code within this body tag. So here we will add one div with the class name container. Within this container, we will add one title in h1 tag. So this is the title, generate a random password. Before this random password, we will add a line break. So let's add br and uh, after that, we will add one another div with the class name display. and in this display there will be one input field and there will be one image so first we will add the input and input type will be text and let's add the id so the id is password and after that we will add the placeholder so in this placeholder we will add password and after this input field we will add one icon so we will add the img tag src and the file path so write the folder name images slash the file name file name is copy.png after adding this let's open the html file with any web browser so you can see this text here generate a random password then input field and one copy icon let me close this browser and i will open it with the visual studio extension called live server so it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file so you can see the same web page again next we have to add the css so let's come back and within the css file let's add the body tag so for the complete web page we have to change the background color so in this background we will add this color code then we will change the color that will be the text color so it is white after that we have the class name called container so write this class name here and for this container let's add the margin and width will be 90 percent and let's add the maximum width after adding this, let me come back to the website. You can see the background color has been changed and you can see the different color for this text which is white. And we have some space here because we have added the margin of 12%. Next we will design the input box and we have added the class name here display. So let's add this class name here display and for this display we will add the width width will be 100% margin from the top to add some space from the top 
and we will add the space at the bottom also so margin bottom the background will be white and here the color will be triple three display flex and uh, align items center so the icon and the input field will be side by side then we will add justify content space between let's add the space inside this box so we will add the padding of 26 pixel and 20 pixel then we will add the border radius so that the corners will be round so we have added the border radius of 5 pixel after adding this you can see the changes in this display box where we have the input field and this copy icon the copy icon is very large right now let me add the css for this text also which is the title text so we have to change the font and color so let's come back and we have added this text in h1 so let's add container h1 we will add the font weight font weight is 500 then font size is 45 and we have to change the color of this text which is random password so to apply the css on this particular text we have to add span tag here so let me add span and close this span here next we will add the css so here again we will add container h1 then a span here we have to add the color then we will add the border at the bottom that will be one bottom line of 4 pixel solid and this color padding at the bottom now this text is looking good generate a random password next we will add the css for the icon so let's come back here we will add dot display and img width will be very small 30 pixel and cursor pointer size for this copy icon is perfect next we will add the css for this input field so let's come back again we will add display and input border it will be zero then we will add outline zero and font size will be 24 pixel after adding this this complete display box is looking good next we have to create one button also so let's come back and uh, after this div which is display here we will add one button and uh, the button text is generate password you can see this button here and with this button we will add one icon also so before this text we will add img tag write the file path images slash generate dot png and now you can see there is one icon also in this button next we will add the css so let's come back here in this css file here we will add dot container button img so for this icon width will be 28 pixel and margin from the right side and after that we will add container button here we will add border 0 then outline and background 
after that we will add the color so the color will be white for this button text and uh, let's change the font size and font weight display will be flex and uh, align items center justify content center then we will add the padding of 16 pixel from top and bottom and 26 pixel from left and right side border radius will be 5 pixel and cursor pointer after adding the css for the button let's come back you can see this generate password button is also looking very nice next we have to add the javascript that will generate the random password every time when we will click on this generate password button so let's come back and come to the html file just above this closing body tag we will add a script a script open and closing tag and here let's add one const password box equal to document dot get element by id and in this id we will add the password which is here in this input field we have added the id password so write this password here so we have added the const name password box after that let's add the const length equal to 12 you can add your own value here if you want the password length 8 you can add 8 if you want the password length of 16 you can add 16 like that i'm adding length 12 after that we have to add the different characters that is allowed in the password so here we will add const uppercase equal to and in this uppercase we will add all the alphabets in uppercase let's duplicate it and here we will add lowercase and add all the alphabets in lowercase then we have to add the numbers in the password so we will add the const number equal to it can be 0 1 2 3 up to 9 and we can also add the special symbols so we will add const symbols equal to i have added these special symbols that can be used in the password next we have to create one function that will generate the random password so we will add function create password let me write the javascript here then i will explain you each line here i have added lit password so we have added one variable here called password that is empty then we are adding this value in this password so here it is generating a random number from this uppercase length this is the uppercase characters and uh, the length is 26 here it will generate any random number from 0 to 25 and according to that index number it will add any random value in this password again it will add the random value from this lowercase this third line will add any random number from this number and this last line will add any random special character in this password so first it will add 
upper case lower case and number and a special character but right now we have added only four characters in the password but we need 12 characters in the password so here we will add one more thing here i'm adding while length is greater than password length it means when this 12 is greater than the length of this generated password then we will add some other characters here so then we will add any random character it can be uppercase lowercase number or symbol anything so here we will add one more const write the name all cats equal to just add this uppercase lowercase number and symbol so this is the all characters again copy this one and paste it here here we will add this one all cats and all cats so it will continue to add one random character unless the password length is 12 and once the password length is 12 now we can display that password in our input box so here we will add password box dot value equal to password that's it so it will display that uh, password in the input box after adding this let's come here and copy this function create password and now we have to execute this function so come to the html part and uh, here we have the button so in this button we will add on click on click equal to this function create password so whenever we will click on the button it will execute this function and it will generate a new random password and that password will contain the uppercase lowercase number and symbol and uh, the password length will be 12 because here I have added length 12 so let's check this one here if I click on this button you can see a new random password let's click again again you can see random password so every time we click on this button the password is changing but right now if I click on this copy button it is not working so we need to add the copy function for this password now let's come back here just above this closing script let's add one more function and write the name copy password and in this one we will add password box dot select then in the next line document dot exe command copy that's it so it will select that password then it will copy next we have to execute this function so let's copy this one and add it here on this icon so in this img tag we will add on click copy password so when we will click on this icon it will copy that password so let's come back click on this generate password we have the new password here let's click on this copy icon and try to paste it anywhere else i will open this note you can see this password we can paste it here let's create another password here it is with the uppercase lowercase number and a special character and the password length is 12 let's click on this copy button and come to the note we can paste it here so you can see this random password generator is working fine we can generate the strong random password and we can copy this i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials. Thank you so much for watching this video.